assault and batteries, but my trunks they ever ready. Yeah. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. Okay. This video specifically is going to be about the main event of Survivor Series, which happened about a week ago. Literally, I'm not even joking. As soon as that pay-per-view went off the air, everybody and their grandmothers became like Jonathan Coachman, ESPN anchor, tenure vet of like the professional wrestling business. They know what's going on. Everyone has an opinion. And I specifically remember watching a video of a fan from Toronto who... Minus Survivor Series, like, forget Survivor Series, she's always been one to act like the head, like, oh, I've been watching for 25 years, I love to, like, throw in, I went to this show, that show, I met this guy, this guy's my favorite wrestler, I had lunch with this guy, like, this guy, I'm like, shut up, like, honestly, like, no one cares. Typical wrestling fan, you know, like, no, just, I don't have to go into detail, when I say a typical wrestling fan, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, so this is this person, and... I watched their uh, their Facebook live video where it's like, hey, like I didn't get to go to the show, but I'm sitting at home on my couch, but I want to talk about the show like I was there. Uh, and I quote, I feel bad for anyone who was in that building because you paid a whole lot of money to not see a proper match. You pay to see a very UFC-esque match. I'm watching this video in the lobby of the Air Canada Center. I'm like, bitch, you're sitting on your couch. What are what do you know about what's going on in the building? He's like, oh, you know, everyone says they want a UFC match, so here you go, you got one, and you're pump pumping money into the machine. I think everyone should boycott WWE, but hey, I'm gonna be a raw tomorrow, and I'm gonna be loud, so make sure you look at shut the fuck up. It made me, and I was all on the, I was on riding on cloud nine. I'm like, oh my god, Goldberg came out, and psh, psh, you know, do a little kick punch action, get the fireworks going. And then I watch her video, and I'm like, what? Where? How? How? Where do you even come off talking about what fans in the building should be thinking when you're sitting on your couch like an idiot? Just be, you know, she was at NXT, I saw. She went to Raw, but oh, something happened in the middle of Survivor Series. But no, of course, NXT was fine. Raw ended up being fine. But the one show you're not at, you have to bury it as if, oh, if I was there, I'm sure it would have been fine. But people like that who want to go on a tangent because they feel the match was 90 seconds long and it was like oh you got we paid for a proper show like nah nah man like sure maybe the goldberg Brock lesnar match from wrestlemania 20 was a proper match but look what happened when they had a proper match those two don't collide together well maybe that was then that was 2004 i think everyone was shocked i went in there honestly and i'm wearing i don't care i'm wearing a roman ranger like say something say whatever you want but like I went into that show expecting a match. When I got two spears and a jackhammer, I was laughing because I was like, holy shit, did I just see that? And I was happy because Goldberg won. So, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm not upset. I know the 18,000 people in that building, no one was upset. Maybe there was, at the beginning, it was like, what the hell just happened kind of thing, but then it was like, holy shit, like we just essentially witnessed history. And it was just like being in the building when the Undertaker streak ended. Maybe a little bit not as dramatic, but there's definitely that feel of like jaw dropping, like, oh my God, what did I just see? But, you know, once that, once, you know, you realize that, hey, it's just a show, it's not actually really UFC. Goldberg did not technically beat Brock Lesnar with his bare hands in 89 seconds. It's show business, you know? Wrestling fans need to get... <laughs> I'm telling you guys it's fake. You guys already know that. Like... When I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow a gasket in a second. When I just, just, when I see them, it's just, come on. People come on their little Facebook channel and they just start going nuts. Hey, I'm on my YouTube channel, I'm doing the same thing, but I can separate the two. I can understand why they did it. I can understand the swerve aspect in it. I can understand that Goldberg is going to be built up like a machine, much like Brock Lesnar. And, you know, he's going to get beat by someone eventually. Maybe, I hope. I don't know, actually, not really. I like Goldberg. People not at the show, don't talk as if you were at the show saying, oh, I feel bad for people at the show because... Uh. Everyone in the show was loving life, honestly. After the show ended, there was, like, fights going on outside where they would take their chairs and just smack people over the head with it. Um, what else? There was... It was Goldberg chance. There was, you know... But there was no bad blood. There was no, like... Oh, I'm going to go over to the box office. I'm going to say, I want my money back because I flew this far. It was a show. It was a good show. It was a good match. It was what should have happened. To quote RKO the infamous NWO, the greatest squash match of all time. People in the building witnessed that. 
And for those of you who are wondering what the reactions were like, it was amazing. Honestly, I was like, it wasn't, you know, like it wasn't Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, like, <clears throat> but it was definitely like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But hey, as long as Goldberg won, everyone's happy. That's awesome. I just get a little bit of peace off my chest. But yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next video.